Objectives. By the end of this lesson, students will be able to understand the parts of cell, cell organelles, difference between plant and animal cell. So, dear students, in your previous class, you have studied about cell. So, dear student, a cell is a basic unit. of structure and function of all living organism so today we will discuss about the parts of cell first of all we will discuss about the cell wall so dear student the outermost covering of plant cell is called cell wall as you can see in this diagram this is the outermost covering of plant cell the next is composition of cell wall it is made up of a material which is called cellulose it is a hard material and the next function it provides support and gives shape to the cell the next is cell membrane the outermost covering of animal cell is called cell membrane it is also called plasma membrane as you can see in this diagram this is a cell membrane which is also called plasma membrane it is a outermost covering of animal cell but in case of plant cell it is next to the cell wall the cell membrane controls the movement of materials in and out of the cell it is a function of cell membrane or plasma membrane the next one cytoplasm a jelly like material present inside the cell membrane is called cytoplasm as you can see in this diagram this is a jelly like material which is present inside the cell membrane is called cytoplasm the next is composition it contains water and chemical substances so dear students many cell organelles are present in it as you can see in this diagram most of cell functions take place in cytoplasm it is a function of cytoplasm the next one cell organelles first of all we should know about what is cell organelle so dear students an organelle is a specialized subunit usually within a cell that has a specific function for example endoplasmic reticulum mitochondria chloroplast vacuole and centrioles now we will discuss these organelles their functions one by one first of all we will see about endoplasmic reticulum it is a network of channels as you can see in this diagram these are a channels of endoplasmic reticulum the movement of materials in the cell takes place through the endoplasmic reticulum 
it is a function of endoplasmic reticulum the next one mitochondria this is a picture of a mitochondria it provides energy to cell it is a function of a mitochondria the next one chloroplast it contains chlorophyll which trap sunlight actually students chloroplast are the part of plant that contain chlorophyll they trap energy from the sun plants use the energy to make food the next one vacuoles it store waste material water air and food particles so dear student vacuoles store waste materials water air and food particles in plant cell a single large vacuole is present but in animal cell many small vacuoles are present as you can see in this diagram and the next one centrioles they are involved in cell division as you can see in this diagram two centrioles are present near the nucleus of an animal cell they play an important role in a cell division these are centrioles and they collectively called centrosome and the next one nucleus it is a part of cell it is the most important part of a cell as you can see in this diagram function it controls all the activities of a cell nuclear membrane a thin membrane around the nucleus as you can see in this diagram there is a thin membrane is present around the nucleus which is called nuclear membrane and the next one chromosomes many thread like structures present in the nucleus called chromosomes these are chromosomes they are thread like structure which is present inside the nucleus actually students chromosome pass on the characteristic of the cell to the new cell the number of chromosome is fixed in every cell a human cell has 46 chromosomes so next one difference between plant and animal cell so dear students cell membrane nucleus mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum are present in both plant and animal cell but there are some differences too these differences are cell wall is present in plant cells but it is absent in animal cells nucleus lies near the side of the cell wall because of a large vacuole as you can see in this diagram but in case of animal cells nucleus lies in the center of the cell the next one vacuole single large vacuole is present but in animal cells many small vacuoles are present as you can see in this diagram and the next one chloroplast chloroplast are present in plant cells but they are absent in animal cells and the last one centrioles centrioles are present in plant cells but centrioles are present in animal cells centrioles are absent in plant cells and they are present in animal cells so dear students in this way we have completed our two days objectives let's take a short review of our two days lesson so dear students today we have studied about parts of a cell cell organelles 
difference between plant and animal cells cell wall cell membrane cytoplasm and nucleus these are a part of a cell and cell organelle is for example endoplasmic reticulum mitochondria chloroplast vacuole and centrioles these are cell organelle and they perform a specific function in cells and dear students we have studied about difference between plant and animal cells so there are some differences which are cell wall is present in plant cells it is absent in animal cells chloroplast is present in plant cell but it is absent in animal cells centrioles are present in animal cells but they are absent in plant cells so dear students i hope today's lesson will help you to understand the parts of cell cell organelles and difference between plant and animal cells assignment so dear student there are some mcqs which are related to our today's topic now we will discuss these mcqs one by one the first one is it provides energy to cell option a cell wall option b cell membrane option c mitochondria option d chloroplast the correct option is option c which is mitochondria mcq number 2 it is not present in animal cell option a mitochondria option b cell membrane option c cell wall option d cytoplasm so the correct option is cell wall is not present in animal cell mcq number 3 thread like structure in the nucleus called option a chromosome option b cell wall option c cytoplasm option d mitochondria so the correct answer is chromosome option e mcq number 4 it store waste material of a cell option a centrioles option b vacuole option c nucleus option d cell wall so the correct answer is vacuole option b it store waste material of a cell the next one question number 2 give the short answers of four questions so question number 1 what is the function of a cell wall so dear student we have studied about the cell it provides support and give a proper shape to the cell question number 2 what is nucleus we have studied about the nucleus it is a most important part of a cell and it controls all the activities of cell question number 3 what do you know about cytoplasm so dear student we have studied about the cytoplasm it is a jelly like material which is present inside the cell membrane and many small organelles are present in cytoplasm and most of the function of a cell take place in cytoplasm the next one is extensive question write down the differences between plant and animal cell so dear students i hope today's lesson will help you to understand the parts of cell cell organelles and the difference between plant and animal cell thank you